What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Cayenne and I am hyped about this video. Also a bit nervous because I'm about to take on quite the task. I've been seeing these videos where people are trying on everything in their closet and cleaning it out. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. As you guys may know, I am moving in May, which means I want to downsize as much as possible. I already downsized a lot moving from Arizona to Illinois, but I want to just downsize even more. Lately, God has just made it so easy for me to not be materialistic or attached to items. So I feel like this video, like everything I get rid of and everything I decide not to buy makes me feel so much more free. So I'm excited to feel so much lighter and free after this video. I am going to try on almost everything in my closet and in my dresser and either decide to donate, bring to Play-Doh's closet, sell on Poshmark, or keep. Those are the four piles. Let's take a look at my closet and get started. Um, I don't really reach for this anymore. It's Topshop, really good material. This is kind of like a staple I invested a little bit more money in because I thought I would wear it all the time, but mm. okay, I'm not in love. So I think this will either go to my Play-Doh's closet or I might try to sell it on Poshmark. I got it from Zara a few years ago and it's really holding up pretty nicely. I think I'm just gonna keep it for layering as a basic, and then if I can find a different basic that I like more, I'll replace them, but this is a good basic tee that I can wear whenever. This is the next one. It is this poncho. Oh, what do I wanna do? I like never wear this, but I also, <sighs> this is my first winter, so I never wear it because I haven't lives somewhere where there's winter. It's super lightweight. It's from Lulu's. There's like nothing under it. So that could be not very functional in this weather. I'm keeping the other poncho. So maybe we'll get rid of this one. Now that I see it all, though, I like it. This is the next top. It has like this fringe at the bottom. This is from Express. And I think I'm just going to take this one to Plato's closet. I mean, it's cute in good condition, but I just never wear it. This is the problem because I like never wear this. And then as soon as I try it on, I'm like, oh, this is so cute. Like the knit on this is lovely. This is from Brandy Melville, but it's a little bit short in the front and back. So I like don't grab it as much because I like something to cover my butt and crotch. Okay, this one I'm going to sell to Plato's closet. Okay, I don't own many jackets, so I'm gonna quickly try those on. This one is from Shopo. And I just got this one and I really love it. So I'm going to keep it. Next is this leather jacket from Zara. And I've had this for a while. If you need a good basic leather jacket that will last a million seasons, go to Zara. Next is this one, which I thrifted. Cute, but I don't know, I never wear it. This is a big oversized cardigan that I thrifted as well and it's so cozy. Definitely gonna keep this one. This jean jacket was perfect for Arizona because it's super lightweight. 
I don't know. I used to wear this all the time. Maybe it just doesn't look good with this top. I think I would rather just sell this to Poitos and invest in a jacket that fits a little bit better because I want like a longer one. So we'll sell this. It is a corduroy jacket, but honestly, it's very, like the shape of it isn't the most flattering. The shape really doesn't do anything for me. And I know I just bought this for like $20, but if I don't love it, See, this is why you should just invest in something you love because I bought this for $20 to wear on my date um, and I only wore it once and now I'm gonna get rid of it when I could have spent 30 extra dollars for a jacket that I really loved. So, lesson learned. This one I am selling. This top I just got from Brandy Melville when I was on vacation. It's still a bit tight now. It's just like super tight on the armpit. Why did I buy this? Listen, I'm not gonna wear this top anytime soon because it's too tight, but this is gonna be my top where it's like, I aspire for it to fit better in a little bit. Cause I think in the summertime, this will be just like a super cute basic top. To wear. You feel me? But for now, she's a little tight. <laughs> One of my ex-boyfriends just texted me. I think he watched my last video. <laughs> Hopefully he's not mad. This is super cute. Sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. Uh, this is from the brand Amen Papa. The thing is, I just never wear this, so I'm going to sell this. And this is felt. It's super nice. Like, this is a very well-made shirt. I will sell this on Poshmark. And keep in mind that this money is gonna go towards me saving and moving. So that's the only reason why. Otherwise, I would normally just like donate, but I need to save money, so. We're selling. So this is a shirt or a dress that I've had for a few years and it just has these like bell sleeves. Super comfy, great for the holidays, but I honestly haven't worn it in so long. So I might try to just take this and I feel like this neck got bigger. So I think I'm gonna take this to Plato's closet because I just got this dress from Forever 21. It was literally $3, I'm pretty sure. And this just goes to show, don't buy something just because it's on sale because I have not worn it once since I got it. And I never wear tight dresses or stripes. So I'm just going to see if my sister wants this or give it to Plato's Closet because I haven't worn this once and it doesn't look great. So this dress, it's just like a long maxi dress. I thought it'd be cute for vacation. Let me try it on with a hat. I still think it would be cute for vacation. I'm gonna take this on the cruise with me and see how I like it. But it's like, this is something if I lived in Arizona, I would wear all the time. And where I'm moving has a similar climate to Arizona. So, okay, I just bought this dress from a last <laughs> chance and I think it's also like a great dress for holiday get togethers or like a Friendsgiving. This would be cute. I actually have a Friendsgiving tomorrow. So maybe I can wear this because I haven't worn it yet. So I'm going to keep it for now. And This dress is beautiful, like, and it's very high quality. Look at the lining. Oh, it's beautiful. 
but I wore this to a wedding and I just don't think I'll be wearing this again. Plus I think it's a little too small for me now. So if you're looking for a special occasion dress or homecoming, this cutout is not as big as it looks. It's just, it has these belts in the, in the middle. So I'll insert a picture of me wearing this. If you're interested in buying this dress, it'll be on my Poshmark. It is just a beautiful dress. So now we're gonna get into my summer stuff. I put all my summer stuff away, but I took it all back out so I could do this video. So pretty, it's from Shopo. I wore it in my try on haul, so I will be selling this on my Poshmark. It is a beautiful dress, it's just a little bit too tight for me. So if you're interested, go get this. Okay, this is the dress, it's from Shop Downtown. It's a little bit tight. As you can see, it's like not the most flattering on my stomach. So the sleeves, like this is so cute. If you're like a little bit smaller than me, please go buy this because it is so cute. I'll sell it on my Poshmark, but as you can see, my torso is very short and therefore like these sleeves just keep falling off. So I'd recommend this for someone who is a small. I'm probably a medium right now. So I recommend someone who's size small and maybe a little bit taller or like has bigger shoulders in me so these things can stay up because when they are up this dress is so cute really great basic white dress Hope that will stay can you tell i'm getting tired of trying clothes i'm just like talking through clothes now this dress i've worn recently don't want to try on any of this stuff but i have pictures in it on instagram if you're curious what it looks like on this jumpsuit super cute keeping for now. This dress, I also have a picture, it's from Shopo. It is so cute. This is like the detailing of it, it's super cute. However, I shrunk it. <laughs> and this is what I've learned to take care of your clothes, get them dry cleaned. Cause I shrunk, not the dress itself, but the lining underneath the dress. So, if I want to wear this, I need to like sew something on the bottom. I've been trying on clothes for I think, almost two hours. This jumpsuit is so cute. It's cropped at the ankle. It's a little bit shorter, but I don't really, I have this in black as well. I don't really reach for this pattern as much. So I'm going to sell this. It's from Urban Outfitters. I'm going to sell a few other rompers too that I'm not going to try on, but I'll insert pictures. This one's super cute, off the shoulder. One from Sabo Skirt. I wore this in one of my date videos. It's just a little bit big on me. And if you guys want to buy anything on my Poshmark, but don't want it, I can give you a cheaper price through Instagram. So if you see something on Poshmark that you like and you're comfortable with just like Venmoing me, just message me on Instagram, whatever item you're interested in and I will give you like a discounted rate, so. They are tight and I don't really like low-waisted jeans anymore, so I'm not gonna wear these, even if I did lose weight. <laughs> these do not fit. Oh my gosh, these are so tight. I'll have them on the Poshmark. If you are looking for some liquid leggings, Express. I haven't worn these in a long time because they're a little bit thicker, but now that I'm somewhere cold, I think I will wear them. They fit very nicely and they're high-waisted. So I will hold on to these. Should I go through my shoes? I think I'm gonna go through my shoes and that's gonna be the last, like look at these angles right now. Can you just see me falling apart throughout this whole video? I should go through my workout clothes too. <sighs> So let's do my shoes and then we're gonna wrap up this video. These mules have seen better days. I'm gonna keep these, I'm keeping these. Donate, donate. So I'm gonna keep these for now, but I'm gonna be on the hunt for a nice white sneaker to replace them. I've had these Steve Madden sandals forever and I never wear them, so don't need them. From Forever 21 for like $3, just great black plain sandals, so those are key. Got these ones from Last Chance, so these are key. I'm gonna take all my clothes to Plato's Closet tomorrow 
and I'll let you know how much I make off of them. I will also have my Poshmark linked below if you guys are interested in buying any of that stuff. And again, if you're interested in buying anything and don't want to pay the price through Poshmark, I will lower the price for you if you DM me on Instagram. This is the Poshmark pile. This is the Play-Doh's closet pile. So that's how much room we made. I think we did a pretty good job. So I took my clothes to Play-Doh's closet this morning. They bought about half of it, maybe a little bit more than half of it. I got $55 going to Play-Doh's closet. I really never expected much, but $55 is more um, to add to my savings. So that's awesome. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If anything, it was very satisfying to get rid of so much stuff. If you haven't done this yet, I highly recommend purging your closet. Not being attached to material possessions has been so freeing for me and I'm sure it will for you too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week.